the owners and MLB responded with a counter proposal, Trev. Like we are, ne- we are actually negotiating now. We're passing back and forth the same proposal kind of and not just saying non-starter, here's ours, non-starter, here's ours. So that excites me. The math also, it's like the players are asking for 114. Now the, the league says we only want 60, which Trev was also early to letting us know that that's probably what they're doing. The very middle point is 82 games. I think we're on a great path. There's still a lot to figure out, I guess. But I'm excited about the announcement and the path we're on. I agree with you that there's been some positivity when it comes to talks and negotiations. But I also think this non-proposal, this 40 to 50 games that has been reported, is no different than the sliding pay scale they offered before. I mean, if you really break it down, they wanted to average everyone making about 30% of their salaries, and that's exactly what's going to happen here. Um, So the numbers haven't changed too much. My tidbit is that Manfred on the call, I heard that he threatened to hold players in breach of contract if they didn't agree to the 40, 50 games, whatever, which will be proposed. I buy that Manfred said that. I don't buy that he'd do that. He's just losing every which way, and the owners are probably giving him shit every which way, and he's like the parent who's their grandparents are yelling at them, and then the kids are also yelling at them, and finally they're like, I'm going to fuck you all up, and that's what Manfred's doing. But he's just losing power. They're losing the PR battle. The owners and MLB are losing everything. That would be so bad. That to even, like, so, 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 so bad, the season would be canceled, the CBA would would probably strike next year, and then we'd probably have no baseball for two and a half years. Um, If the owners were to let... I'll just, I'm going to hang my microphone up and go. It would be, it would be catastrophic. It would be so bad. The owners can't allow Manfred to do that. He's probably like off leash a tiny bit because he's like, you guys got no idea what these guys are, are going to do to me and just trying to get any control of the players. Isn't I got Manfred just, as a, a scared guy right now. Just the final part of the dance, um, Trevor and, and James, and hey, big baby David, we see you down there. But Because um, think about the other thing that happened this weekend and then got washed over immediately because nobody gave a shit. But it was the owner saying, hey, there's owners out there that don't mind if we miss this season. Nobody gives a shit. That was a last-ditch effort to try to get some of the players on their back heels. I was talking to a, um, a front office employee, and I was mentioning, hey, like, they're Texas. Like, I think we're going to get some fans in the stands, you know. And um, some of that I – that we all bounce business advice off. Um, he's – fully thinking that by the time the world series comes around, we're going to have, you know, a lot of people in the stands. Well, maybe not full capacity, but I told Jake, if all this happens, like in two weeks from now, if there's not a tick up of Corona cases, then, then everything's going to go back to normal because guess what? You got every single major city has people breathing on each other in these protests outside. So, like, if we don't see a tick up from these, it's almost a great case study where, okay, I guess we're all right. And, uh, and then we'll see when fall comes and all that, you know. But Yeah, they are. So, the person I talked to, they said that they have already had internal discussions about how they would handle that. 5,000, they've done a scenario for that. 10,000, they've done a scenario for that. 15,000, they've done a scenario for that. So, these teams are prepping. Um, for fans and how to handle them in the pandemic age. But I think it's a good sign that, like, you know, barring unforeseen circumstances, I always have to say that now because people don't just let that be implied. Uh, If we're on this track, I think we're going to see fans. And, man, I've got to tell you, the playoffs, if there's fans in the stands for the playoffs, it's going to feel, like, legit. Yeah, it'll be empty fun. stadiums not going to feel legit to me, man. It's going to be weird. Hey, be one weird. battle at a time, Trev. Yeah, 
You're right. Let's get, but I let's think get, if this, let's this, get this regular comes season to fruition, games. Yeah, if this comes to fruition and we get fans in the stands by the time playoffs starts, man, the owners will be happy. We can, you know, we can, you know, caress their back a little bit and say, "You guys okay now? You got some fans in the stands?" Did good. 